Hello everyone. For this week's episode of the Tombstone Tourist, I'm back in Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. Consisting of about 135 acres and founded in 1847, Hollywood is one of Virginia's largest and most historic cemeteries. Throughout the years, a number of notable people have been laid to rest here, including two United States presidents, James Monroe and John Tyler. Six Virginia governors are buried here along with two associate justices of the United States Supreme Court. As one of the Commonwealth's most historic cemeteries, Hollywood Cemetery was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1969. Hollywood Cemetery is also the final resting place of more than 18,000 Confederate veterans, including Generals Jeb Stuart and George Pickett. Many of the Confederate dead that are buried here are resting in sections around a monument known as the Confederate Pyramid. The Confederate Pyramid was designed by Charles Dimock, who was the civil engineer of the Confederate Army. The base of the pyramid is 45 feet square and it rises to a height of 90 feet. The pyramid was built entirely from granite stones pulled from the nearby James River. These heavy stones were shaped and stacked mostly by convict labor from the Virginia State Prison. The unique aspect of the pyramid is that every stone was stacked by hand using no mortar. Construction began on the pyramid on December 3, 1866, and almost three years later, the capstone was placed by a prisoner named Thomas Stanley. The pyramid was dedicated on November 8, 1869. Encased within the pyramid are a number of Confederate artifacts, including a button from General Stonewall Jackson's coat, a lock of President Jefferson Davis's hair, and a Confederate battle flag. The first Confederate burial here at Hollywood Cemetery was Henry Tucker, who was a member of the Governor's Guard. He died of disease and was buried here in May of 1861. A month later, Private Henry Wyatt became the first Confederate soldier who was killed in combat to be buried here. Since its dedication in 1869, this pyramid has stood as a memorial to these and all of the Confederate veterans who are resting here. Just a short distance from the Confederate pyramid is one of the more unique and most visited graves in this cemetery. This is the grave of little Bernadine Rees who was a two-year-old girl who died of scarlet fever in 1862. Little Bernadine's grave is easily found because even to this day, cemetery visitors often leave small toys and trinkets on her grave. But it's also easily found because of a black iron dog that is standing guard, ever protecting the little girl's grave. There are a number of folk stories and legends surrounding how and why the dog was placed here. The likely story is that the dog stood in front of a Richmond store where Charles Reeves, who was Bernadine's uncle, had a shop. The neighborhood children loved to play with the dog and could often be seen petting and playing around the dog in front of Mr. Reeves' shop. Now keep in mind the nation was divided by civil war and Richmond had recently become the capital of the Confederacy. At this time, the Confederate government was confiscating cast iron and melting it down for ammunition. Even local churches were donating their church bales for the cause. Now, legend has it, in order to protect his beloved dog, Mr. Reeves moved it from his store and placed it at his niece's grave, since certain cemetery and religious artifacts 
were exempt from the government order. Another story is that when Charles Rees left Richmond and moved to Petersburg, he remembered how much the little girl loved the dog, and he simply gave it to her family, who had it placed here at her grave. The final and least likely story is that the family simply bought the dog from an unknown source and had it placed here at the grave as a memorial to their beloved daughter. No matter what version you choose to believe, the fact is that for over 150 years, this iron dog has stood guard over this little girl's grave. And even today, visitors to Hollywood Cemetery still stop by and place toys and trinkets at her grave. Well, this is where I'm going to end this video. There's a lot more to see here in Hollywood Cemetery, and in the coming weeks we'll visit the graves of some of the more notable people that are resting here. So if you enjoy these types of videos, I hope if you haven't already, that you will consider ringing that bell and subscribing. And if you're so inclined, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Now, until next week, please remember, Life is a wonderful journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everybody.